Hi Taurus, this is a general love reading for May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or you can get a personal reading for which all the information is in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So let's see what is going on with Taurus. First half of May. All right, we have mute and we have third party. All right, so this is a third party situation. It does not have to be a person. It could be just about anything that is really serving as a big barrier between um, you and another person. Could be a, um, it could be a career, it could be a job, it could be an addiction, it could be just about anything. It could be, it could be another person, but not necessarily a romantic partner, and it definitely could be um, a partner, like a, like a spouse, all right? And I feel like the, there's not much communication between the two of you going on at this point in time. So, all right, let's see. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of May 2021. What is going on? All right, so for the situation, we have the Queen of Wands crossed by the Page of Swords. All right, so yeah, it feels like communication is definitely an issue here. Somebody really speaking their truth um, about what it is that they truly want here. Um, so, I mean, this, this could go either way, but I feel like there is... If this is you, you know exactly what it is that you want or they know exactly what it is that they want. Um, I feel like this is how one of you is feeling about the other, that there is a very strong attraction, there's a very strong desire. Um, I also feel like this person, you know, they, their assertiveness is what is being um, challenged right now. Like how assertive can I be in order to speak my truth here? Let's see what else. For the recent past, we have the Six of Cups, and for the near future, we have the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like there has been a lot of um, nostalgia uh, recently. Just I feel like it's both of you actually missing, missing each other, um, thinking a lot about the past possibly, and maybe even thinking about a, a reconnection. And for some of you, it could be that you actually had some kind of a... Um, some kind of a reunion or some kind of a meeting up or some kind of an interaction recently. Um, but I still feel like with having that mute card that things though, for the most part, are still kind of distant between the two of you when it comes to contact or communication. So in the near future though here with the Nine of Pentacles, there's some kind of an independence, some kind of a... Um, freeing oneself or just feeling really good about oneself. So could be you, could be them, we'll see. Let's see for you, we have justice. For them, we have the two of cups. More about you is the eight of pentacles. For them, we have the knight of pentacles, potential outcome. Okay, three of swords, don't freak out. We'll see what that's about. Okay, could be regarding the third party, for example. Right. Um, and a message for you here is the star. So that's a lot of hope. This is a lot of healing. All right. So I'm glad to see this as the message because we do have the three of swords there. So this is showing, yeah, there might be pain involved in this, but that doesn't mean that there isn't um, hope for, for you, for love. Um, maybe even for this person, depending. Um, and yeah, I feel like there's a lot of, um, actually that there's a lot of wishing here for each other. Uh, for you, 
having justice and the eight of pentacles, I feel like you're trying to find a balance within yourself. You're possibly trying to make a decision. And I feel like you want things to be fair. You want things to be the way that they are supposed to be. You want things to be in a certain balance. And I feel like you're working hard to get yourself at least to feeling that. Um, and it could even be that you're working hard to make a decision. For them, Two of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. This person holds a lot of love for you, all right? With that Two of Cups, I mean, there's, I definitely see them wanting this connection with you. And it could be, you know, maybe if they're the ones that are, the ones um, trying to move towards you, they're, it could be that they're moving a little bit slowly. And it could even be that if it's the other way around that you're, that this person is feeling like you're moving slowly. Um, but I see it more of them trying to get on on a path, getting on a path to this love with you. They're trying to do what they can. And I feel like actually what this is, is that this person is being very, very cautious, is the way it's coming through, about how to approach this connection with you. And it could be why, you know, you might not see much from them. But ultimately, I feel like it's you wanting to make a decision. So again, rules can be reversed, all right? So we'll see what that three of swords is when we clarify, um, but it is some pain either for you or for your person and maybe in regards to the third party, as I said, we'll see. We'll see because I do also see this um, nine of pentacles, which does also talk about about being single. But then again, you know, if one of you is involved in, in a third party, it could even be um, setting yourself free and being single and independent from that. So it's already a little bit complicated just because of the third, the definite third party in this case. So let's clarify and see what we can figure out. So let's clarify the situation. The Queen of Wands crossed by the Page of Swords. All right, we have the chariot. I feel like the chariot just keeps showing up in May. A lot of drive, a lot of willpower, um, and the star. So yeah, as I said, you know, and it's funny that this came up as the message, but I felt like it was like just an overall energy here that there's a lot of wishing. There's a lot of hoping. There's a lot of wanting um, for this for this um, union to take place between the two of you. And I feel like it's coming from both of your, both of your sides. Um, there's a lot of drive here. I feel like the whole issue is somebody really finding that assertiveness to actually go through with it. That is the issue here. Um, finding that assertiveness to firstly communicate what it is that they want. Okay, could be you. Because there is something that this person wants a lot. I mean a lot. There's a lot of driving force behind it, but because they're not communicating that, they're not communicating what they want, then it's hard to take the next step, which is after that. It's like that has to happen first. All right, so let's see justice for your energy. death, the four of wands, and the ace of cups. All right. All right, this is interesting. I feel like you are in the process of trying to decide what it is that needs to end here. There's something that needs to end and it's either a commitment or a love. Let me see the Eight of Pentacles, because I do see you really working hard for this. I feel like there is, it's like there's both of these energies, and it could be two different things. Um, it could be one and the same. It could be, you know, if it's your person who is involved in a third party, it could be that you're trying to make the decision if whether it's just done. You know, like, is this love and is this coming together, you know, um, and coming into union, is it even possible? And then for others of you, it is trying to decide between the two, knowing that you cannot have both. 
So clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Two of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, see, so there's that indecision. You're trying. I feel. I. Mm, I feel like you're trying. It's you trying to decide between two different things. Um, or trying to decide whether you should still, you know, um, pursue this love, even if there is another commitment involved. It's. It's just a decision around these energies here and I feel like you're working towards it you're you're really working towards finding that stability you have the um, king of pentacles here as well which is which is your element this is you standing strong in your power trying to ground yourself you're trying to see things from a very practical perspective and I'm wondering if maybe that's part of the issue here um, you know, because sometimes, I mean, it's good to be practical and it's good to work towards um, our goals or, you know, work through a, a decision that we're trying to make from a practical perspective. But I do feel like, like maybe, you know, your heart is missing from this piece here. All right, having swords, pentacles, just, well, just swords and pentacles. There's no um, passion or love in the way that you are approaching this. So, okay, it might just be something that you would want to consider maybe. Um, for others of you, it could be that you're, you know, you're deciding to kind of block out this decision just a little bit and just focus on work um, or focus on other, other responsibilities um, in your life so that you don't have to make that decision because it is a very difficult one for you to make. So be aware of that as well. So, all right, let's see what's going on with your person. Let's see the two of cups. And I'm not saying not to take your time. Just be careful that you're not completely blocking out something and then you end up procrastinating making a decision and you end up just staying like, you know, in the same kind of an energy of trying to make a decision of, you know, trying to find that balance and then not getting it because of that. All right, uh, so for the Two of Cups for your person, we have the Hanging Man and we have the Page of Wands. All right, so this is somebody who, oh gosh, they really want this with you. They really want this with you and I feel like there's something that they're waiting for there and they're either waiting for something in order to take action, um, but I see it more of them just stalling, holding themselves back, wanting to take this action, um, they're very enthusiastic about the idea of the two of you being together, but they have the hanged man, which suggests that they're being pretty passive. They're just kind of like observing the situation. As I said, I feel like they're being very, very cautious in the way that they approach you. Um, let's see. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Magician, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. I mean, again, wow, like they, they want this reconnection so bad, all right, with that Ace of Wands showing up. There's a lot of passion here, there's a lot of drive. Um, they want to manifest this, but again, they're holding back with that Four of Pentacles. They, they're very, very cautious, very, very cautious of, how, you know, it, it just kind of, it feels like. They're afraid of giving you too much because that might push you away or, um, you know, maybe it'll turn you off for whatever reason, especially if they're the ones in the third party, right? It doesn't have to be, the, the third party could be anywhere here. Um, I'm just giving alternative scenarios. If they have the third party, you know, that could be the reason why. Um, they're being very, very cautious because if that isn't resolved, well then, you know, um, might push you away. If it's you that has the third party, well then again. Again, they would hold back because of that. Um, or because maybe you, I don't know, you maybe you're the one um, not really communicating to them and they don't want to push you further or they don't want to be rejected. Um, so let's see, they really want this though. <laughs> Let's see what is what's going on here with that nine of pentacles in the near future. Mm. 
because that is stability and I do feel like it did, it would be your energy, the High Priestess and the Two of Wands. All right, yeah, so it is taking a little bit of time, but I feel like in the near future, you're feeling a lot more um, confident within yourself. You're tuning into your intuition, and I feel like you kind of know what you want to do. I feel like this is you, all right, Make, wanting to make that decision in this Two of Wands energy. Um, I feel like you feel like you're at a more, in a more um, ideal position within yourself in order to make a decision coming up. Um, but I feel like you're still holding back really from it, okay, with the High Priestess and, and the Two of Wands, these are both energies that aren't very action-oriented. I even feel like you're, if this is you that is holding back communication, I feel like you're still kind of holding that communication back a little bit, but you are moving towards feeling more confident about yourself, finding that assertiveness that, that I was talking about before. Um, and at least either coming up with a plan or just really considering um, your options here. Or it could be your person um, still kind of keeping quiet as you become more and more confident in making the decision that you ultimately want to make. All right, whichever way it, it makes sense for you. So let's see the Three of Swords for the potential outcome. All right, we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Hierophant. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, this Hierophant could definitely be that third party um, because it, it does talk about a some kind of a commitment, something that is big, something that is um, a strong force in our lives. It does not have to be a marriage, although it definitely could be, but the, but the Hierophant can also talk about a big institution, for example, or just anything anything else that is big and powerful in our lives. Um, I do feel like in that situation there is some kind of a... Um, something that is going to lead to a little bit of pain here. Um, I tend to think that it's mostly for the person who is going to be involved with, a, with the third party, all right? It could be for the other, but um, I'm, I'm just really picking up that it is the person who's involved with the third party situation here. And I feel like, you know, it's whatever it is that's going to happen and it's going to cause a little, that pain, um, I feel like it's going to happen in a way where it's not going to feel really, it's not going to feel good. It's going to be more of, there might be some deceit around that in some way. Um, like that fallout is going to happen because Something just isn't going to work out in the way that you or they expect. Um, and it's going to feel like, you know, there was some either some sneakiness or some, some betrayal or something along those lines, which is just going to help to lead up to that. So now what does that mean for you and this person? Well, it's going to be different. But what I do see here, though, for you in general, is the star. I feel like what it is that you truly, truly want or what they truly want, that's something that is definitely in the potential. That is something that is definitely possible. The star is all about healing and moving towards your wish fulfillment, moving towards what it is that you desire, what it is, what it is that you truly want. And it's also about being guided. I see this as divine guidance and being receptive and being open to that, which I do see you moving towards that because you also have the high priestess here. All right, so that's actually very, very, um, very positive. And, well, most of you probably know, this is Mannix. Coming to say hi to Taurus. All right. Okay, so Taurus, if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. And if it did, please, please do give me a like. have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance all right so that's very similar <laughs> to what I was also saying about the star all right it's all about um, optimism and you know having your desires come true 
and your wishes. So yeah, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.